What's going on guys? Stefan here with you, s and Garage. Today we are here inside of our 2021 uh, TRD and we're in here with our X-Tool D8 Smart Diagnosis System. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and show you guys how to disable the, the quite annoying and intrusive uh, seatbelt warning buzzer. Now, I am in the camp of it buzzes for a reason, you should be wearing your seatbelt. Uh, but there's a lot of people that either don't wear their seatbelt because it's uncomfortable for them or, or maybe they have a medical reason that they can't wear their seatbelt. And uh, the buzzer can be pretty annoying. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to hook up our, our X-Tool D8 here and I'm going to show you guys how to disable that buzzer for both the driver and passenger seat in your late model Toyota. Um, now this should work for most, if not all, late model Toyotas. After we're done doing it in our 2021 here, we're going to go out to the 07 and see if it can do the same thing, uh, just to kind of see, you know, when they they put that feature in there to be disableable or uh, bypassable. Uh, so let's go ahead. We're going to open up the D8 here. Uh, we're going to connect it to the diagnostic port, turn our ignition on, let it connect to the car. And we're going to show you exactly how to do it. Now on this 2021 Camry, the diagnostic port is going to be right here, uh, just below the, the hood release. Uh, so if you have a 2018 to 2023 Camry, you can expect to find yours there. You'll see it's just to the left of the brake pedal, right to the right of the hood release. So let's go ahead, plug our D8 in, turn the car on. Now just for the record here, X-Tool does offer two versions of this D8 scan tool. They have the wired version and the Bluetooth version. Uh, the Bluetooth version is a little bit more, so I just went ahead, I went with the wired because I don't really need the Bluetooth. I'm not working on a whole bunch of cars. Uh, but if you like the wireless feature, the Bluetooth is definitely for you. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna drop two links below uh, to either one of these, and then I'm gonna add coupon codes to them as well. They will save you 8%. Um, and I'm also gonna go ahead and add them to my Amazon affiliate store. I'll drop a link to that below as well. Uh, in that store, you'll find just about anything and everything we use on the channel um, as far as tools, equipment, uh, modifications, things like that. So like I said, we're going to go ahead, we're going to pull this out here. We're going to pull our, our D8 out. Okay, so here's the device itself. It has a nice little stand. And then we're going to take our wire, which is also packaged very well. We're going to open this up, like so. Little end here plugs into the top of the scanner. You screw your little thumb screws in. Okay, now our dongle for the OBD2 port plugs into this end here, like so. And again, just going to screw in our thumb screws. All right, we're going to go ahead and set this guy up like so. Here on the seat, and we're going to plug the D8 in to the diagnostic port. And turn our ignition on. So let me go ahead, set you up closer to this, show you exactly how to do it. So one of my favorite things about the D8 is this little kickstand I showed you because we were basically able to use the kickstand and hang it right on the door here. Uh, so now like I said we have the ignition on so we're gonna go ahead and we're going to go to auto scan and what this is going to do is scan the VIN number and it's going to connect us to the correct vehicle. So you'll see it says connecting Toyota Scion Lexus. This is a Toyota. We're going to go ahead and hit Toyota. And then the VIN's going to pop up with the engine and the model code. So you'll see VIN, it's got my VIN number, USA Camry, and then 2GR FKS. We got to do an update real quick, so let's go ahead and install that update. That's what's great with these. The updates are included for, I want to say, three years. Don't quote me on that. I may be wrong, but I'm pretty sure it's three years. Um, and you'll see every time you turn this thing on, it's going to have an update. So I'm actually glad that this happened because I can show you 
how quick and easy it is to update this thing. Just like that. So we're going to go back in, auto scan, Toyota. Okay. Now we're going to go to ECU configuration. Now we're going to go to warning. You're going to click on warning and any type of warnings that this thing can give you is going to come up. Now here you're going to see driver seatbelt warning buzzer function. You're going to click that function to change the seatbelt warning buzzer. Hit OK. Right now you'll see here it says on. We are going to go ahead and turn that off. We're going to go back. We're going to go to function of passenger seatbelt warning buzzer. We're going to go ahead and click that. OK. And we're going to turn that off. So now we went ahead and disabled the buzzer for both the front driver and passenger seats. Now you can also go ahead and disable the center rear, left rear, and right rear. Um, I don't believe we're going to do that because if I have kids in the back, I definitely want to let them know, hey, uh, you need to buckle up. So that's just, you know, some of the features that you can change with this X-Tool D8. Uh, like I said, I wear my seatbelt, so I'm just going to go ahead and turn this on that way. If I forget to put it on, I know because I am in the camp that, like I said, um, the supplemental restraint system works as a as a system. The airbags rely on the seatbelt. The seatbelt rely on the airbags, and uh, you really should be wearing your seatbelt. Uh, but if you have a medical condition that makes it to where you cannot wear your seatbelt, or you just rather you know would rather not, you can use this X Tool D8 here. Disable the seatbelt buzzer and uh, get rid of that annoying sound. So we're out here in the 07 Camry, and I did just want to show you that we have the same option here to go ahead and disable the seat belt warning on this car as well. Here it's a little bit different. You do driver passenger on, driver on, passenger on, or driver passenger off. Uh, so here we know that we can do this from at least 2007 onward. Uh, I just wanted to bring this out here, like I said, and see if it works, and it does. So now you know uh, for your own you know, purpose that you can do this if you have a, at least a 2007 and newer. Uh, it may work on the older cars, but I personally, I don't have one of them to try it. Uh, so don't know if you can or not, but like I said, I know now we can do it from 07 forward at least. So if this video helped you, please like, share, subscribe. If you'd like to pick one of these up, please do so from my Amazon store or the links below. The channel does receive a small kickback from that and we greatly appreciate it. Uh, so like I said, like, share, subscribe. We'll see you on the next one.